Hello, my name is Miguel Leiva and this learning object we are going to see the difference between males and females in Drosophila melanogaster. The main object we are going to follow is to identify the principal sex differences in Drosophila melanogaster and to apply those differences uh, to make crosses. We are going to see follow this index, principal characteristics, difference in adult stage and later in pupa stage. Drosophila is an insect, we can see this picture of the insect, it's called in a um, Latin name Drosophila melanogaster, what it means blackberry dew lover, in Spanish it's a mantle rocío de viente negro. It's an adiptera of the genus Drosophila and it's called in Spanish mosca de vinagre, del vino o mosca de la fruta, and in English fruit fly. Uh, it's in, uh, the size is very small, right, sorry, and uh, it weighs around 0.8 and 1.8 milligrams. It's abundant in fruit trees and it feeds or spoils fruits. If we let uh, a fruit that is spoils, it will appear some insects. Probably Drosophila will be one of them. Uh, it's not considered a pest, like other insects, for example, Mediterranean fruit flight, that is another insect that is a pest in orange trees. Uh, here we have the different parts of the fly. We have the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. And the life cycle is complex, but it's well known. Here we have the adult flies, right? The females is fecundated and it puts an, an egg, an embryo, right? From that embryo appears a, a larva. We have three different stages. The larva feeds as fast as they can. And when this completely form, we, it forms the pupa. And in the pupa occurs the metamorphosis, right? An adult fly rises from that pupa. And in a few hours, we have a fertile uh, adult flies. And we can start the cycle again. It has just one, four pairs of chromosomes, the female are XX and the male is XY, and the number of X chromosomes determine the sex in this insect. Which are the differences in adult stage? <coughs> Sorry, we have four main differences, the size, the color of the abdomen, the sex comb, and the genitals. We can see the first one, the size. In this picture, we see that the females are bigger than the males. So if we compare two flies, we can use that difference to see which one is a female, or which one is a male. The second difference is the color of the abdomen. If we see the end of the abdomen, we see that in the male, the abdomen is completely stripped, while in the male, the end of the abdomen is black. So we can use the difference of the color of the abdomen to difference a male from a female. Sometimes it's impossible because we have mutants that they are completely black. So in that case, we cannot difference a female from a male. The third difference is the sex comb. The sex comb, what is called in Spanish, uh, cercosexual or penisexual. Uh, here we can see the first pair of legs, and in the first pair of legs we, we can see a black dot. That black dot is the sex comb, and only appear in the males, and only appear in the first pair of legs. In this other picture, we can see again the two dots, black dot, that is the sex comb, and we cannot see in the second pair of legs. Right? So we can use that to differentiate a male from a female. The males have the sex from, the male, the females, they don't have it. And the last difference is the genitals. If we see the abdomen, there we see a, a female, and here we can see a male. As we see previously, the color is different, but we are seeing now the abdomen. The, the end of the abdomen is rounded in the male, and is pounded in the female. In the female is flat, while in the male, it has a little hole, right? And inside of that hole, we have the penis. So we can see that difference to see if a male or a female. And that's the main characteristic, the genitals. There is a fifth difference that is if the insect is put in an egg, of course, it's a female. As you can see that yet sometimes. You have to think now which ones would you use to difference a male from a female in adult stage. The last step will be to difference in pupa stage. So we can use the four differences are previous, but the only one that is useful here is the sex comb, because the others are quite difficult to see in pupa stage. So here we have a pupa in the last stage of development. We can see the head, the wings, and in the middle of the, week, the wings, we have the legs. So if we see the legs, if we see two dark black points in the first pair of legs, we are talking about a male. If we don't see them, we are talking about a female. So we can use that to difference a male from a female in pupa stage. Of course, we, ha we have to choose a pupa that is in the last stage of development. Now we have to think about which ones, which difference will you use to difference a male from a female in larva and age stage. 
So as a summary, we can see that drosophila is an ictra with sexual dimorphism. There are four principal differences in adult stage, size, color of the domain, sex, comb and genitals. In pupa stage, we can use the sex combs to difference uh, males from females, and we can use that sex difference to make control crosses, to select which ones are the females and which ones are the males, and to make the cross uh, uh, later, right? You can use a different reference to make, uh, to go deeper in the, into this uh, object, and with that we finish. Thank you very much.